Twas the night before giving day at the president's house. Dr. Roloff was awake and so was his spouse. Students were nestled all snug in their beds with visions of homework dancing in their heads. The college offers each student admission. Not one is required to pay any tuition. President Roloff cares about his students, each and every one. He knows they are kind, smart, creative, and fun. But tonight, President Roloff worried and wondered, how could the college afford all 1,600? Of course, there's the endowment, and that's really great, and support from the federal government and also our state, but it wasn't enough for all bills to be paid and guarantee every student received financial aid. Mrs. Roloff's in her kerchief and the president in his cap just couldn't figure out how they would ever meet the gap. Suddenly, the president jumped up with the platter, and Mrs. Roloff called out, Lyle, what is the matter? I've got it, he called. I know just what to do. And with that, out of the front door of his house, he flew off to the quad. He ran like a flash. Years of Run Walk Club had made him quite fast. His eyes, how they twinkled. His smile, how merry. He bounded with joy up to Hutchins' library. He knew there was only one way the college could afford to give out all tuition promised scholarship awards. Our alumni, the president shouted, our students and foundations. We need all of our friends, faculty, staff, and organizations. In order for the work of Berea College to be done, we will need the help from each and every one. On the eve of giving day, we beseech, can 1,600 donors be reached? Berea College students will study, learn, and work with the continued generosity of our entire network. With the wink of his eye and the nod of his head, he let the whole campus know there was nothing to dread. As he jogged down the steps and disappeared out of sight, the president called out, Happy Giving Day to all, and to all, a good night.